Okay, so good morning, Jeanette. We've got um, an OG, someone that I've actually trained face-to-face -to, -face to, so this will be good for everyone. Now, I, I do realize that the workout um, scheduled to, uh, that we're doing today was scheduled yesterday. So uh, just make sure that you're aware that, um, that you need to pay attention. I'll try to write a direct message too on the app, but just to make sure that you know which day I'm doing for the live each Tuesday morning at 8.30 MST. Um, and then Jeanette, when you're ready, you can begin and um, I'll help you as we go and cue you as you go. Today, we're doing chest, biceps, and some abs. So she's just gonna do a quick warm up. Um, and as she's doing that, I'll just kind of go over some housekeeping stuff. Um, so yeah, so just pay attention um, which day I pick. Now, for example, I picked uh, Monday's workout to do live today. So you would obviously do leg day if you wanted to do this workout or take, I think Jeanette just took yesterday off or she would do a hit or, or something like that. Um, yeah. Perfect. Exactly. So I would, uh, if you, and if you have any questions, of course, you just hang, uh, um, on to the Facebook page and ask which day you should do in what order. But I think what I'll do just to save a little bit of confusion is that I'll probably post on our Facebook page, um, what day we're doing. And then, um, uh, then what days you should sort of do instead of that if you want to join the live. Um, it's also good to save this workout to do on your own in the video so you can watch um, rest intervals and that sort of thing too. So um, even, I, I know it's not perfectly uh, set out the way it needs to be in terms of days and times, but I don't always want to do a leg day on Tuesday. I wanna make sure I'm covering all the different workouts. The other thing I want to mention is we are into, I believe week 10. So we only have a couple more weeks of this winter session, which means the weather will also improve in two weeks. Uh, Jeanette and I were just talking about how Calgary is kind of cold and shitty. Um, and it's actually not that warm here in Whitefish either, but, um, it's like a ski town. So we kind of have to put up with more winter here, but I get how um, by March we're getting ready for spring. So I'm just going to predict that as soon as this winter session is over, this, the spring weather is also going to arrive. I'm going to add a maintenance recovery week on to this session. Uh, so instead of diving right into the spring session, oh goodness, we're really boring pinky here. Um, she is going, or sorry, I am going to give you a week of five workouts of recovery, uh, just to let the body kind of, and your mind and your focus, just to kind of take a little bit of some time off to, uh, dot, and then we can dive back into this uh, spring session. I really want all of you to really focus on the next few weeks to push heavy, to work hard, um, and to make sure that you're comparing your previous weeks to what you're doing now. We're now into the last phase of the uh, winter session. So uh, a lot of you, if you've been very consistent with the strength workout, should see that there's some improvements in some things. In other things, it's gonna obviously take more time. Okay, so Jeanette, do you have the workout in front of you? I'm going to need you to tell me which one to do next. Sorry. Okay, let me just. I don't it have up. it in my head. No problem. Let me just pull it up here, honey. I, I think the first one is is this one with the bands or something, right? Oh, with the, the push, push up. up. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, I think that that's a perfect band. That's that is the band that I have, but it's red. Um, my yellow yep. band is thicker than yours, so that's yeah, perfect. That's, yeah. And so basically all this is doing is just adding a little bit of uh, recover or not recovery intensity on the more the eccentric, the, the releasing, right? This going down, you'll feel more tension, which is going to help really encourage your strength. So we're just going to have Jeanette do as many as she can. And then you can always drop down to your knees to modify keeping your head up and always neutral to the spine. 
and make sure that lower back is nice and strong. Good, she looks great. Um, nice, strong core. The best thing about compound movements and simple movements like the push up is the whole entire body basically is working. Squeeze your quads too, right? Um, nice and easy. And so, like I said, Jeanette is someone that's been training with me for a really long time. Uh, so she's going to probably pump out at least 10 of these. And it really will depend on how many bands you have in our memory. You don't have to use the band. If you hate the band, it hurts your arm, get rid of it, right? And then we're going to superset that. Um, still pulling up the workout. Sorry, Jeanette. Um, I think it's just standing bar, bar, bicep curls. I think I just made it a simple one. Oh, let me just look. Let me just look. Let me just look. It's coming up right now here. I'll look too. <laughs> Week seven, week day sixty-four. Um, Bosu concentrated by curl with dumbbell. Ah, right. Yes. Okay. So again, if you don't have a, a Bosu, you can sit on a fit ball or a bench, um, and we're just going to do ten per arm. And this is going to be your warm up set, Jeanette. So nothing too crazy. Perfect. See, this is what I love about doing the lives is you can see how creative people can be. Um, obviously, Jeanette is a little bit. Can, you want to go over here? Okay. Is this the one like this? You got it. So the elbow is inside of the leg, right? It doesn't move. It stays inside. And then you're going to come up just before you feel a recovery. And then release full range of motion without locking the elbow. Yeah. And then just make sure the elbow isn't resting on top of the leg. It's resting kind of inside the leg like so. Exactly. Yeah, you got it. Nice and easy. 10 per side. Good. What's that weight, Jeanette? 10. So, you know, it's the first round. I always recommend, especially if you know you've got some crickety joints to just Take it first round is nice and easy. Now we had a question on the coffee chat, just to make sure you all are aware, please feel free to reach out on the coffee chat. Um, obviously those questions will be private. No one will know that you've asked these. So some of you are a little bit shy to ask questions on the Facebook page, which you really should not. Um, but if you are, that that's where the questions go. Um, and I did have a question about a certain particular exercise. What if you can only do three reps of the recommended 10 to 12 that you have said, should I use the alternative exercise? Uh, use do the alternative exercise. I'm assuming uh, it would have been nice to know the specific exercise. I'm going to make an assumption that it's the pull up uh, because I usually will give an option for the pull up. Um, and uh, my recommendation would be to do as many as you can the way I, if you have the pull up bar, um, to do them that way, three or four reps, and then finish or drop set to the modified version. Um, good. So she's ready to go right into set two. So she's obviously going to stick with the same band. As the muscles get more fatigued, she's going to do less reps. This is normal. And that is a good sign. If you're pumping out the same reps each set, you need to take less rest interval. Now, Jeanette went right into her second set. She could have taken that minute, minute and a half re re recovery. But obviously the, the first round, I could tell she was just taking it easy. Um, so she is definitely going to just uh, dive right into it. She's ready to go. We don't have much time. I want people to feel like we can get in and out of these workouts, including warm up and cool down in 45 minutes, three times a week. I'm not, uh, we do not need to spend hours in the gym every single day. And these three workouts will absolutely make huge differences. So yeah, see, you feel the second round. Exactly. And look at how out of breath she is. So ladies, if you can't get your cardio in, the strength training gets your heart elevated enough to um, get the cardio going, to improve your heart and lungs, especially compound movements. So she's going to grab heavier weight, right, Jeanette? Yeah. Good. And now what I, look at your arms. my god you look amazing okay so Jeanette I have to be a um I have to celebrate you because I haven't seen I mean I've seen you but I haven't paid this much attention to you um you're what 54 
55 now. Wow. I've complete, I mean, look at, I just, I wish you could see my arms. I get goose, I get goosebumps. Um, it's, it's very motivational and inspiring to see someone. I mean, you've always been fit. You do your um, run club outside in the dark, in the winter, every single, is it every single morning you join that group, Jeanette? Wednesday. Wednesdays, that's it? Okay. Um, but you're always and giving Saturday, And Saturday I run club. Okay, right? So she makes sure that she involves herself in things that are going to get her moving, especially in the winter. Right. She posts pictures and tags me and it's pitch dark, minus 25 degrees outside. Um, I I wouldn't do it. I, I will be completely honest, it, but um, she's obviously very dedicated. She understands the importance. And and you also mentioned to me in person that menopause really wasn't that difficult for you. And I think it really does contribute to your overall wellness. Not for everyone. I don't want to generalize and say say that because of course there's other things that are definitely going to play a role in how you recover but you're I'm going to be the exact same as you I've just I've just decided that if I can not go through like I mean you you basically didn't really have much going on did you you definitely didn't put any weight on no I did but then I did that uh, one year and that helped with the deficit and stuff I probably lost like eight, eight pounds doing sorry I missed what you did that um challenge that deficit oh, where we yeah. track I'd never tracked my food before uh-huh so that made a hundred percent of all the difference so I know that that's the only reason I got where I got really to lose some weight so wow well, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think that that, you know, um, that's, that's, I mean, what else yeah. can I say to that? Right. Like, yeah. um, it really is, it's food and it, it, it just is, you yeah. know, for me. Yeah. Well, that's, I know it I, right away. Yeah. And, and I, you know, you're being very kind, but I think it's, it's food for a lot of people. Um, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> We've referred completely being honest with, with how we're doing. And that's what I was saying on the live is we have to be really honest. This is her third round with exactly what we're inputting in our bodies. Um, and there's definitely things that are happening during menopause. There's no question about it. Um, but we also have to make sure that we're being very honest with um, our food and our movement throughout the day, et cetera. Um, so thank you for that, Jeanette. That's, uh, that is a, a big, it, it's easy for me to come on here and say all of this, right? But for someone to come on and say, this is really what made the biggest difference for me. Um, <laughs> so now you can see her, the look on her face. <laughs> That's, uh, and you're going to go up and wait again, I think. Hey, Jeanette? No. Yeah, good. So um, Jeanette, oh, 17, perfect. I think, yeah. Yes, and also um, pick, do the other arm first. Oh, okay. This time. Now it's not a big deal if you don't, yeah. right? If you go back to the, the same arm again, it's not a big deal, but um, this way she's going to go to her weaker arm. She's going to make her weaker arm do the workout first. Um, typically is what happens, um, which is good because we want the stronger arm typically to be more fatigued. Her right arm is going to be more fatigued after those push-ups than her left. So I would recommend her weaker arm to be the one that goes second, because now look at that right arm is getting some recovery. Um, but it's also good to switch lead arms even once, uh, to just make sure that the, the arm that's getting the rest gets a, a more of a rest on the next set. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, not a big deal. This is something that I do good, Jeanette. Now, exactly, help yourself up and then you'll lower it on your way down. And make sure you finish that wrap last rep. That was the last one. That was 10? Yeah. Good. So yeah, so did you notice concentrically she can't do it on her own, right? It's a weaker phase. Coming up is weaker than lowering. Okay, and anything you do. So for example, this, this is the concentric, 
eccentric is lowering. So eccentric, the letting go phase is stronger. So you might for the last round or the last two reps have to help yourself up, but then you should be able to eccentrically lower. And that is going to be a, one of the best ways to get stronger. So for an example, for a pull-up, um, you know, you're going to maybe jump up on the last one, use your legs. If you have a band, you might even need to assist more by jumping up and then see if you can lower it on your way down. And that will really help increase your strength as well. So your wrists are bugging you a little bit, I see, but that's okay, right? It's they an don't in Is it it's an, an injury? injury. Yeah. What did you do? I, I broke a little bone right there about almost a year ago and it's never really healed properly. I have an appointment next month to look at it. So how it's okay. I mean, it just didn't fuse like it should have, you know, so, um, it's just weaker. So I wear a wristband thing at night just so oh. I don't do weird motions in the night, you know, but, um, okay. I just notice it sometimes and push ups too. So yeah. sometimes I'll even use like a bar, a barbell to do my push ups to alleviate yeah. some of that. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. So. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. That's great. Does it bother you after the workout or just doing during the workout? Most mostly just doing it um, okay. a little bit afterwards and then it kind of aches a bit and then it's fine. Okay. So I just, you, you ought to just keep going. Right. So, yeah, you do. Thank you. <laughs> ah, so refreshing. <laughs> you just got to keep going. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so now we're on to the B superset. We're doing a reverse crunch. crunch. I switched it up a little bit this week. Um, we're going to superset that. We're going to add a few more. So I really want us to be focusing on our core. This is sort of a core focus. Um, and I think a lot of you really like the ab workout. So that that's great. Um, so reverse crunches, we did this a lot. One, this one is my favorite in boot camp too. So as your arms are up, so are your legs, you're going to lower your arms and your legs. So your lower abs are also getting the work. You're going to do 10 of those ish. Is this one, this one, you got it. Yes. Oops. On your back. So your legs are up in the air. So not too heavy, right? The flies were working the wider part of your chest. Yeah, exactly. Right. And, and it does compromise the shoulder a little bit. So if you've got any kind of weak links in the shoulder, you want to make sure that you're limiting your range of motion. So just lie on the ground, nice and nice and easy. Let your legs. Uh, yeah. And now keep your arms straight, Jeanette, and your legs up in the air. Yeah. So put your legs up in the air and you're going to move both. So as your arms go to the side, so where your legs are going to lower as well. So oh, keep your arms straight. Don't bend your arms. And then lower. Here, let me show you, honey. Yes. Please. Yeah. Have a visual. No. And when I get back to Calgary, I'm going to be doing way more of this. Uh, or not Calgary. <laughs> Kelowna. Um, okay. So here. And then as you lower, so where your legs. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. So lower abs, reverse crunch, wide part of your chest, bringing the dumbbells close together, but don't let them touch. So she's going to do about seven more of those because she already has worked pretty hard here. And then when she's finished her 10, she's going to get rid of the dumbbells and we're just going to blast out the lower core for a few more reverse crunches. Yeah, so if you go too heavy on those flies, you're gonna really compromise the shoulder. I like that she's laying on the ground. So the floor will re restrict. Yeah, so now you can get rid of, and don't even worry about the upper body. What I want you to do is gently hold your neck, Jeanette. They'll crunch up a little higher isometrically. So you're isometrically now contracting your abs. Now, yeah. And then she's just gonna hold isometrically here and lower her legs for four more. Three more. And then if her back is coming off the ground, she's going to limit her range of motion and she's going to keep her knees before her hips. One more. She's getting tired. I like it. Good. Now take a little bit of a rest. And notice that last rep, she just concentrated on slow, controlled movement. She didn't drop her legs down. That's what I want. She, she's learned that from boot camp because I used to lose my freaking mind when people would just release that last rep. That last rep is the one that's making the biggest differences. That eccentric release, slow and controlled, 
is what's going to make huge differences. Even though you just want to drop it, right? Because you're tired, let it go slowly. You'll feel that intense burn and then you're ahead of the game by so much. Now grab your baby dumbbell that you just had, lay on the ground, legs up in the air. And I want you to do 10 pulses. So legs in the air, laying on it, one, one dumbbell. And now you're just gonna pulse. 10, nine, eight, quicker, seven, quicker, six, five, four, good job. Three, two, and release slowly. So she's now gonna release her legs super slow again. Good, take a rest. There you go. So um, I switched it a little bit this week, right? That's all you're doing, okay? Now give yourself a minute recovery. How is your lower back, Jeanette? Um, it just, it comes off the ground. It just always does. Yeah, now it you can place, does. yeah, a little tiny towel under there too, or bend your knees, that may help. Do you feel yeah. your abs when you do it? Especially when the legs go higher, Good. then I feel it awesome. in that. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, just limit your range of motion, right? Yeah. Don't have to go yeah. down so far. Um, yeah. as soon as the lower back um, creeps up, your, back, your abs, but as soon as your lower back creeps up, then the lower back's kicking in. So they have, they just are little, little tight. They don't have to be huge movements. We're doing three rounds of this, which is tiring. Um, how did that weight feel for the flies? Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. You want to go up heavier? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like how adorable are you? Okay. <laughs> uh, easy going. Okay. So by the way, ladies, I did have someone reach out and say that I had made a mistake um, with the supersets. I wrote two rounds and then I wrote three rounds for C2 and C3. My apologies. I will never do that unless I've specified. Um, yeah, that's a perfect weight. She sh I can definitely see that this is a better weight for her in terms of her dumbbells flies. Um, and then she's just gonna limit her range of motion because we really don't need her lower back coming off at all. This is not due to weakness. This is just the way her body is, like her body's a little bit curvy in the lower back. So it's a lot harder for her. As long as she's feeling her abs, then we know it's working. If all she felt was lower back, then absolutely we would need to figure that out. Um, yeah, so my apologies. Sometimes I'll say, um, you know, this superset, you're this first set, you're only doing this by yourself. You're not supersetting it, but I didn't do that, which meant it was a typo for me. Um, you know, I, sometimes I'll change the sets and reps from different weeks. And obviously I just missed that. My apologies, but yeah, two rounds. If you see the two times 12 more than the three, then I would just stick with the, the two or the two rounds. Um, but if you notice something, please let me know. Like Jeanette note, noticed that I had doubled up the videos on Tuesday, right? On the Facebook page, I get a notification, go in there, change it. Thank you. No one's confused. And she's sticking with perfect. There we go. Exactly. Good. And notice how her legs are staying straight, right? Her legs don't are, are not straight, but still, right? She's the more those solid your legs are, the more you're pulling the abs, right? So now she's focusing on the lower abs. She's definitely gonna, and look at now, she's perfect, beautiful, so good. So now she gets another minute rest before she recovers. Abs take a little bit longer to recover depending on how strong you are, but I absolutely would need to take um, a, a bigger rest. Now, question while you're resting, Jeanette, because I don't see the same things that you see on the app. When I say, and, and please listen to this ladies, because this is something that someone addressed to me and I wanna make sure that we are on the same page here. When I say refer to week two, do you see in your calendar week two or is it just a day that you see? I don't have the app, I just use it through the website. So I just refer to my last week. Okay, so when I, mean, I say, so can you tell which week, what week you're in? No, just Not for me. Um, okay. So how do you, how do you figure out what I'm talking about to refer to, or do you just remember in your head what weights you're doing? I just look at the week before. 
or I'll even scroll back. Like you can, I can scroll and look back even further than the last week and the week before. And then I kind of look at those numbers. Right. And then, but I usually so just, you, okay. I try so, and keep it the same or even up it a little bit each, each week. Perfect. Okay. So basically okay. what I'm doing, and if you're ready to go, by all means, you don't have to listen. I don't want to hold you back. But ladies, listen, this is what I do, okay? I program week one. Uh, in my app program, I have a calendar. I can see the whole week and it's week one and then day one, day two, day three, day four, day four, day five, day six, day seven, week two, day eight, day nine, and it just keeps going. Um, so I can, when I go up, I can see what exact week I'm in and what day I'm in. And I'm not sure that we're all seeing that. So I think there might be some confusion on when I say, refer to week two, you don't actually see what week two is, but let me explain what I do. I program week one to four is the first third of our three months. Sometimes it'll be longer, right? Um, and then after I program four weeks, week five, well, then I'll go back up to week one because now we're in a second sort of third part of the workout phase. So let me just say that again, because she's looking good. I program one, week one, week two, week three, week four. Once I get into week five, we are in a new phase. I then refer back to week one and I modify and intensify and progress the workout as it needs to be. So, and sometimes I switch exercises. Sometimes I'm like, I don't really like that exercise anymore or something, you know, it's not always the exact same, but there's very, very similar things in, if you go from week five to week one. So you basically, if you only see a day, you would have to figure out what day week five would be. And then you can go up into the first week out, or I'm just assuming, oh, there's your beautiful cat. I love that cat. So much. <laughs> it's so cool. It's like Garfield, but white. Um, so that is how I figure it out. So then week five, we would relate to week one, week six, we would relate to week two, week seven, we would relate to week three, week eight, we would relate to week four. And then when I get into week uh, nine, I'm then looking back at the first week and the fifth week. And then I'm adding on to that. So that's what makes it a bit progressive. Sometimes I'll try change tempos. Sometimes I'll add more. Uh, reps sometimes I and I'll say I'll be very clear right and we're adding more load today so obviously if you're now these are for people who are very in tune to numbers and want to know a lot of people just know the weights like um I, I know I can do eight pull-ups on my own um I don't have to keep going back to week three to know it but again this is my life this is what I do um so I don't obviously expect you to remember all of that um, plus like certain things like bicep curls, you're never going to go more than 15, 16, 17 pounds. You're never going to go to 25 pounds. It's just a tiny muscle, right? Um, but I just, I want people to know sort of what I'm doing so they understand the progression component of it. Now, obviously, if you have not been as consistent with the strength workouts, you're not going to want to progress as I am for everyone else. That's why it's so important for you to be consistent. If you're not, you're not, it's okay. But maybe you dial it back or you refer more to what the workout was in the previous phase um, so you don't injure yourself, okay? And unfortunately, this is just the way a proper pro, uh, customized progressive program will be laid out. Um, and so it does get a little confusing, but this is the way. Um, you'll get the most out of it. Okay, we're into the last round, last supersets. This is three exercises. We're doing two sets, okay? So maybe uh, if I were to do another, this again, maybe to progress it, I'd make you do three, right? Or if you're feeling like you wanna do three, go for it, right? Okay, so we're doing a, so she's got her suspension trainer. Um, she bought that one on Amazon for 80 bucks. Yes, Jeanette? This was the Fitness Depot one, the $88 one. Perfect. By the yeah. way, um, I'm giving you a free month for, for all of your help. So thank you. 
next month next month you won't pay i appreciate okay. i appreciate you so much um this is going to be a huge um eye opener and learning experience for so many women so thank you jeanette next month is on me um so just just so you know when you see a refund that's why don't stress about okay. it people if i re refund that's it's easier for me to do that than get christy to get a code people are like why did you refund me are you kicking me out of the app i'm like no 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 no. i just appreciate no, no, no. it so thank you <laughs> okay so we're doing about five to eight tucks if you're feeling good maybe add a push-up now what i kind of wanted to do because we have done some push-ups already is maybe change how we're doing the push-up jeanette so maybe do three with the right arm in front and three with the left le uh, arm in front She's like, okay, that sounds, and then we're going to do a pike or a tuck, She do, whatever you want, right? There's a lot of abs in this workout. So she's going to come up, look at her feet, and then a little push-up, doesn't have to be big, beautiful. So we've programmed five to eight of these, and then she's going to take about a 10, 20, 30 second rest. And then she's going to do another, you know, five or so tucks just to make sure because her chest is going to fatigue quicker than her core, probably. And so we're going to make sure that both the muscles that we're targeting today are getting just equally as tired. Good job, honey. So, um, oh goodness. Yeah, so I'm making you do 10 of those, geez. So obviously, if you can't do 10, you're not going to do 10. It's the last two have to be a challenge, right? Uh, I can see that that was a really, really hard, uh, like she's getting tired, right? Those ones are always bad for me, though. Those yeah. T-Rex ones. Yeah, but you look good. You look really good. We're going to lower your feet a little bit next time. So oh. if you need to drop your knees down, then you can do that. Just for, yeah, just a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. And then she's going to go right into is this the fit ball roll up. You got it. You got it. So this is my my I love doing this post something else I've done for abs. This is my favorite kind of burner. The best way to fatigue abs is constant move, constant tension. Um, which is the plank. And then of course, I think plank without any movement is there. Look at how strong her back is. So I just want her to do, you know, 10 -ish. Um, And then I just want you to hold it for five more seconds because we all can, and we were not going to want to, but I know we all can. Okay. So um, interesting. One arm bicep curl on suspension trainer. So if you don't have a suspension trainer, you would just obviously go back to week six or whatever day week six is. I'm bad at math, but you know, you just have to go week one is one to seven. Week two would be day eight to 14. Day three would be right. Like it's just a little bit of math. Um, but I think that I've now that I've explained it, that will help you understand. Um, so she's going to make her suspension trainer into one arm. This exercise is very hard, right? You might have to cheat a little concentrically. Biceps are small muscles, so they're fatigued. So she's going to, right? Elbows nice and tucked in. Make sure you're holding the right handle. Yes. And so with this one, you just want to make sure those elbows don't drop. I know it's hard. Take a step away. Exactly. Yep. This is pretty hard. So elbow stays high, full range of motion, Jeanette, full range of motion. Yes. Good. Yeah. And even stop the range. I'm going to tell you, stop there. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. So typically when we're weak, so I want only two more of those. Okay. Cause we got, we have got two, another round of this and I don't want to hurt you. So you got to listen to your body, especially she's got, she's got some wrist issues, right? Um, and she's not using her wrist. Notice that, right? She's only using her bicep. As soon as you start doing this business or this business or this business, you're working other parts of the body. This is a very tiny muscle. 
So it's going to be more than happy for the body to help and the wrist to help. So keep your movements strict. Elbow doesn't move at all. Amazing. Nice, strong sides of the core, right? She's in plank, side plank. So her core is actually engaged. Um, and she, we're only doing two rounds of this. So, okay, we started at about quarter two, give and take, because we warmed her up. It is now eight minutes after nine. And we did some chit-chatting. So ladies, these workouts absolutely, can, it, the hardest part is to get in there. And I always say, give yourself 10 to 15 minutes. If you're still just not loving it today, then at least you've said you could try. But once you get going and once you get the endorphins in the system, it's awesome. So she's going to lower the band a little bit, right? I can't okay. anymore. So it's okay. It okay. That's fine. And, um, and now she's, if you're struggling and if you can drop to your knees for the push up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do eight of these, Jeanette, just eight, nice and strong, drop to your knees for the push up. If you need to there way better. So, because I was seeing her lower back drop significantly on the push up, and her shoulder blades were also popping up. Now they're not doing that. It's much safer. She's focusing more on her chest rather than her, um, her neck and her lower back. So much safer. Amazing. Now make a di little diamond with your hand. Oh, she is staggering. Okay, good. I can tell. So now she's staggering. And again, you don't have to do this, but because we've already done some normal kind of push-ups, we're just changing the hand position. So it's a little bit different isolation. Amazing. No, you look great, Jeanette. Yeah, she's tired. Now take a rest. We're going to do, before you get up, I want five more tucks on the TRX. Now, remember, ladies, if you don't have a suspension trainer, you can use the Fitball and do this just as easily. Uh, I was saying to a client this week, and now just five more, squeeze, abs, five, squeeze, four, lower back strong, lower back strong, three, that's better, yeah, two, drop your hip, no, don't, hop. yeah, there, yes, much better, and release slowly, good, so ladies, that second last one, she, she was listening to my cues, her lower back stayed nice and strong, right, which is exactly what I want, um, it's so easy to allow those hips to drop, this is why it's so good to even film yourself once in a while doing workouts. Sometimes I'll like when I film things, like for example, the deadlift, um, I'm like, Ooh, God, that looks bad. You know, sometimes you don't really know what you're doing unless you film yourself. So I have to do it obviously for con content, but sometimes I'm looking at these videos and going, wow, that, that doesn't actually look that good. So now she is on the rollout. So her abs are going to be super, super tired. So if your lower back is not ready for it, Jeanette, give yourself more time. She's good. So we're going to do 10. She'll take a rest if you need to. Okay, Jeanette, as soon as your lower back kicks in and you need to drop nine, eight. Good. Notice how her eyes are staying up. She's not tucking your chin in. Okay. She's getting her cardio going. I love it. So strong as I sit here drinking my coffee, that's probably 700 calories. Mm -hmm. Now she's holding it, squeeze hard, feel the burn, welcome that discomfort. It's your body changing. Love it. So good, amazing. Now, Jeanette, you're going to go back to the same arm that you did originally, the same arm. And people will go, why is that? I don't know. Just decided I want her to do the same arm because she's going to do her stronger arm. So this, her weaker arm will get some more time to rest. Arms are straight and beautiful. Good job. That's a better set. You look much better. Nice job. And on the strength days, don't worry so much about getting the 10,000 steps. I'm happy with, you know, 
good, right? She's she's using the grimacy look. I love it. She's working hard. She knows there's going to be a lot of women watching her. No pressure. She knows that she's probably going to be on my Instagram page. <laughs> you girls are such good sports. You really are. And of course, if you don't want to be, you just tell me and I would respect your privacy 100%. Good. And you can see this side is a little bit, she struggles a little bit more. This is normal. This is why we do isolateral work, one arm, one leg, working independently, because eventually we hope that the other arm will catch up. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes we've got these, you know, little injuries in our ankles or a bad knee. And sometimes there's going to be one. I always, in my whole life, I've typically had one side that struggled more than the other. It's not a big deal, but we don't stop trying to make sure it gets strong, right? If we constantly are using both arms together or leg press, not doing any isolateral work, that weaker side will always get more help from the stronger. Okay, so she did it. How do you feel? Like I had a workout. <laughs> Good, amazing. Well, don't you feel accomplished too? Awesome. Well, it's it good. is now 9.15, um, including a warm-up. She'll got, and she'll now do her cool down. And she's finished. She's done a, a great full body workout, chest, biceps, abs. What will you do? Will you do legs tomorrow then? I'll probably do my workout by Wednesday morning, work morning right, crew right. on Wednesday. And then Thursday, I think I'll go to the gym and do Perfect. my legs. Awesome. Because I think there's a squat rack there that I can use. So um, yeah, I, I think that's great that you have access to the gym now. So you can really, oh yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I've been trying to go once a week just to, you know, justify having a membership. Yes. <laughs> so. Yeah, totally. Well, great. I mean, you're, you're investing in you, which is yeah. awesome. Sure. And look at, sure. look at how young you look, look how happy you look, look at how calm you look. Um, you should be very proud of yourself, Jeanette. Thank you. You're an inspiration for many. Um, okay. Well, thanks for joining. Do you have any specific questions for me personally uh, right now? Nope. I think, um, I'm, yeah, I think I'm good now. I should probably get back to work. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much for um, joining in yeah. and we will see you soon. You betcha. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Thanks again. Thanks My so much. Pleasure.